happy today? Can we make some noise this morning? We are in the house of God. Estamos en la casa de Dios. And I pray that that never becomes a routine for you. Y oro que eso no se vuelve en una rutina. But that every time that you come through those doors. Pero que cada vez que entremos por esas puertas. You realize that you are going to have an encounter. Nos demos cuenta que vamos a tener un encuentro. With the King of Kings and the Rey God of God. Con el Rey de Reyes y Dios de Dioses. It's not just anything. No es cualquier cosa. Tell the person next to you. Dile a la persona que está a la par tuya. God is in this place. Dios es he is here today Él está aquí. may that never become a routine for you que eso no se una rutina, but that you may enjoy it pero que and truly grasp what God has for y you que Dios tiene para our, our pastors aren't here today no están el día de hoy. they're at our RTL campus están en iglesia de RTL in Lancaster, Lancaster. And they're preaching the word over there. Están predicando allá. You know, it's beautiful to see the message es hermoso ver el mensaje be carried out beyond the borders of our city que se lleve aún más allá de nuestra ciudad. onto families that are two hours away. A familias que están a dos horas de distancia. And you know, the beautiful thing about the mission y lo hermoso de la misión is that we are all a part of it. Es que todos somos parte de ella. Uh, the church at Lancaster, la iglesia en Lancaster, you know, they're functioning over there every, every Sunday cada domingo tienen servicio But we are all part of one team. pero también somos parte de un solo equipo and it's beautiful that you can be a part of that as y well. es hermoso que tú también puedas ser parte de ello dile a la persona que está a la parte tuya you. esa casa es tu responsabilidad And so our, our pastors are over there. Entonces nuestros pastores están allá. And so I have the responsibility. Y tengo la responsabilidad. Of bringing the word today. De enseñar este día. So I'm gonna I'm ask you. I'm gonna ask you to be patient with me. Entonces te voy a pedir paciencia. But I'm excited to share the word Pero today. Estoy emocionado de compartir I'm el so día excited. De hoy. Estoy emocionado. I, I think I'm excited because the verses that I want to show you estoy emocionado más porque los versículos que te quiero enseñar were verses that impacted me when I read them on my own. Son los que me impactaron cuando yo los leí solo. They really helped me to form a relationship with God. Me ayudaron a formar una relación con Dios. Um, as I remember reading them in my room. Y me acuerdo leyéndolos en mi cuarto. And, and just getting to I felt like the image of God just grew bigger. Y sentí como que la imagen de Dios se aún se engrandó. The more you know God, lo más que conoces a Dios, the better you will be able to relate to Him. Lo más que puedes relacionarte con él. The more you know God, lo más que conoces a Dios, the more faith you will have. Más fe es la que vas a tener. The more you know God, lo más que conoces a Dios, the more peace you will have. Más paz vas a tener. It is when we get to know him es cuando podemos conocerlo that our life changes. Que nuestra vida cambia. And so I, I want to share these verses with y quiero you. Compartir estos versos contigo. Our pastor preached on Holy Communion El pastor predicó en la Santa Cena uh, last Sunday el domingo pasado. and he told me to carry on the message. Y quiere que aún siga enseñando en ese tópico. And so we're going to learn about Holy Communion Entonces today. Vamos a aprender la Santa Cena. Are we ready? Estamos listos? Yeah. We're, we're actually, did they give you Holy Communion? Te dieron they tu did, right? Okay. That's awesome. I'm excited for that. Um, a lot of the times we do things Muchas veces hacemos cosas without knowing the why. Sin saber por qué. And so today I want to explain to you the why. Y ahora te quiero, hoy te quiero explicar el por qué. Why do we have Holy Communion? ¿Por qué tomamos la Santa Cena? What does this represent? ¿Qué representa? And why should we do it? ¿Y por qué tenemos que participar? And the Bible is going to answer all of those questions. Y la Biblia te va a contestar todo. All we're going to do is just go through the Bible. Vamos a ir a la Biblia el día de hoy. We're going to pray first. Pero vamos a orar primero. We're going to pray so that our minds vamos a orar para que nuestra mente and our hearts y nuestros corazones may be aligned to the Spirit of God. estén alineados al Espíritu de Dios. Sometimes then we're rushing through traffic. Muchas veces estamos a la ligera en el tráfico. You, know, you, you came and you looked for parking. Viniste y buscaste estacionamiento. I hope you didn't fight with anybody here for parking. Espero que no te hayas peleado con nadie para el estacionamiento. Because it'll be an awkward service if you fought with somebody here. Si te vas a sentir raro But, but we're going to pray so that we can focus on the word of God can we do that let's pray Father Father we thank you because you've been so good we thank you because you've been so faithful even when we've been unfaithful you remain faithful Jesus. 
And you are here today. Y tú estás aquí. And so, Lord, we just make space for you. Entonces hacemos espacio para ti. May we not overtake what you want to do. Que no um, pasemos lo que tú quieres hacer. But we just make space for you Pero in this moment. Pero hacemos espacio para ti. This is your church. Esta es tu iglesia. This is your moment. Tu momento. Everything belongs to you. Todo pertenece a ti. Help us to understand your word. Ayúdanos a entender tu palabra. And help us to know you more. Y conocerte más. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. And amen. Y amen. If you've never read the Bible before, si nunca has leído la Biblia, you're tempted to begin in Genesis 1. Estás sentado en empezar en Genesis 1. And Gen Genesis 1, y Genesis 1 is probably one of the most epic chapters in the whole Bible. A lo mejor es el capítulo más épico de la Biblia. When you first start reading the Bible, cuando empiezas a leer, leer la Biblia, you meet this person conoces a esta persona who carries the title of God. Que, uh, tiene el título de Dios. And it, it is such an epic chapter. Y es un capítulo, uh, tan épico. Because this being, Porque ese ser, this person, esa persona, begins to create universes a crear with only his voice. Con solamente su voz. He says, let there be light. Él dice, que se haga la luz. And guess what happens? ¿Y qué pasa? There is light. Hay luz. He says, let there be the sun. Dice que se haga el sol. And guess what happens? ¿Y sabes qué pasa? The sun comes about. El sol se para. He creates a moon. Él crea una luna. He creates planets. Planeta. Mountains. Montañas. Oceans. Oceanos. Rivers. Ríos. Just with his voice. Con solamente su voz. He creates everything that we know. Él crea todo lo que sabemos. The Apostle Paul says. El Apostol Pablo dice. That creation. Que la creación. Screams that there's a creator. Grita que hay un creador. When you look at the intricate details Cuando tú ves los detalles of science, de ciencia, know that God created it. Puedes saber que Dios lo creó. Man, some of the things in this world are so complicated. A veces algunas cosas aquí en el mundo son tan com complicadas. Our, our brain is so complicated. Nuestro cerebro es bien complicado. I mean, some of us are also complicated. Algunos de nosotros somos muy complicados. But it is all a creation of God. Pero todo es una creación de Dios. The solar system. El sistema solar. God, for some reason. Por una ocasión u otra. Like the planet Saturn. Le gustó el planeta Saturno, Saturno and he put rings on it. Y le puso un anillo. Why did he put rings on it? Porque lo hizo así. I don't know. Yo no sé. But God created everything that we see. Pero Dios creó todo lo que vemos. And you see that in Genesis 1. Y tú lo ves en Génesis 1. You, you, you begin to read this book a leer este libro. and the first thing you meet is this being y lo que es este ser that just with his voice que con solamente su voz can create universes. Puede crear un universo. Well, I remember one time Me acuerdo que una vez, I was going through a hard time estaba pasando un momento difícil. And, and I began to question God. Y empecé a cuestionar a Dios. You know when things are really hard ¿Sabes cuando las cosas se ponen bien duras? and you got no one to turn to but you just tell God like God why? Y no puedes correr a nadie, pero le dices a Dios, ¿por qué? And you feel kind of angry at y te God. Sientes enojado con Dios. I remember one of my leaders told me, me, acuerdo que un líder me dijo, he said Chris, me dijo, Chris you're in God's universe. Estás en el mundo de el universo de Dios. When you're in your universe, Cuando tú tengas tu propio universo, you can do whatever you want. Entonces puedes hacer lo que te dé la gana. But you're not in your universe. Pero no estás en tu propio universo. You're in God's universe. Pero en el de Dios. He created it. Él lo creó. Therefore, he decides whatever he wants Entonces, to do. Entonces él decide qué hacer. It's the way God functions. Así funciona Dios. I'm glad when I read the Bible. Estoy contento que cuando leo la Biblia. I find that there are people like me. Encuentro que hay varias personas como yo. There's a man in the Bible called Job. Hay un hombre en la Biblia que se llama Job. That went through a really hard time. Que pasó unas situaciones bien difíciles. So difficult that he also began to question God. Tan difícil que empezó a cuestionar a Dios también. Not only did he question God. No solo lo cuestionó. But he began to argue with pero him. Pero a discutir con Dios. And I love God. Y me, y amo a Dios. Because he has a sense of humor. Porque tiene un uh, humor chistoso. Remember, God is the creator of everything. Acuérdate, Dios es el creador de todo. And I love that God actually brags about this. Y amo porque Dios se jacta en esto. And I want to show you a passage in the Bible. Y quiero llevarte a un pasaje en la Biblia. Where God brags about his creation. Donde Dios se presume a su creación. I promise you. Te prometo. We're going to get to Holy Communion. Vamos a llegar al okay? tema de la Santa Cena. 
You're, you're probably like, where, where are you going with this? Y se this? están preguntando, ¿a dónde va él? I promise you. Te prometo. I want to explain to you the why first. Te quiero explicar el por qué primero. So that you understand the what. Para que entiendas el qué. Knowing the what is not enough. El saber el por el qué no es suficiente. You got to know the why. Tienes que saber el por qué. So Job and God are, are arguing. Entonces Job y Dios están discutiendo. And, and, and look at what Job y mira lo que Job 38.9 says. 38, 9 dice, This is God speaking to Job. Y Dios está hablando a Job. God already had enough. Ya se fastidió, Dios. And look at what God says. Y mira lo que le dice. And as I clothed with clouds and wrapped it in thick darkness. Y cuando lo vestí de nubes y lo envolví en densa oscuridad. For I, li I, I locked it behind barred gates. Pues lo encerré detrás de portones por reja, con rejas. L limiting its shores. Y puse límites a sus orillas. Look at verse 11. Mira el verso 11. This is God talking about when he created the ocean. Este es um, Dios hablando de cuando creó el, el océano. I said. Yo dije. He tells Job, I said. Le dice a Job, yo dije. Who said it? ¿Quién lo dijo? God. Dios. I said this far. Dijo, de aquí. And no further will you come. No pasarás. Here your proud waves must stop. Aquí se detendrán tus orgullosas olas. God is telling Job. Dios le está diciendo a Job. You're arguing with me. Tú estás peleando conmigo. But I want to remind you. Pero, pero te quiero recordar. Who created all of this? ¿Quién creó todo esto? See, I created the oceans. Yo creé el océano. And the thing with the oceans is, y la cosa del es, one of my friends told me, don't fear the ocean, uno de mis amigos me dijo, no tengas miedo al océano, but respect it. Pero respétalo. Because when the ocean decides what it wants to Porque do, el océano decide qué hacer, it don't matter what you do. No importa lo que tú hagas, the ocean will have its way. El océano a tener su su manera. But God is telling Job, Pero Dios está diciendo a Job I tell the ocean yo le digo al océano, You stop here tú párate aquí. You don't move from here tú no te mueves de aquí. And the ocean stays there y el océano se queda ahí. That's why when Jesus was in the storm with the disciples The disciples were afraid Los discípulos tuvieron miedo. Jesus comes about Jesús viene, And he tells the storm y le dice a la tormenta, Be at peace Ten paz. Jesus spoke to the elements. Jesús habló a los elementos. He spoke to the elements of nature. Habló a los elementos de la naturaleza. And guess what the storm did? ¿Y sabes qué hizo la tormenta? It was at peace. Estuvo en paz. Because creation knows who its creator la is. La creación conoce quién es su creador. The creation knows who created it. La creación conoce quién lo crea and creó. And creation knows who it needs to obey. Y la creación sabe a quién obedecer. It's the same character we meet in Genesis 1. Es el mismo personaje que conocemos en Genesis 1. With his voice, Con su voz, he commands. Él da un mandato. Isn't that beautiful? Es, ¿no es eso hermoso? He doesn't even need to get up from the throne. Ni se tiene que parar de su trono. Sitting down, Sentado, he can give an order. Él puede dar un mandato, and it is done. Y es hecho. And, and, and God keeps telling Job, look at what Job 40 y mira a lo que Job 40 dice. I, I, I love this because God is actually being sarcastic here. Me encanta esto porque Dios es, se suena bien sarcástico aquí. Look at what God tells Job. Mira lo que Dios le dice a Job. God speaks in the third person. Habla en tercera persona. Are you as strong as God? ¿Acaso eres tan fuerte como Dios? Can you thunder with a voice like his? ¿Puede tronar tu voz como la suya? Look at verse 10. Mira verso 10. All right, put on your glory. Bien, vístete de tu gloria. And splendor. Your honor, de tu honor and majesty. Y majestad. Give vent to your anger. Da rienda suelta tu enojo. Let it overflow against the Deja proud. Que se derrame contra los orgullosos. Humiliate the proud with a glance. Con una mirada. Walk on the wicked where they stand. Pisa a los malvados ahí donde están. God is telling Job. Dios le está diciendo a Job. Oh, if, if you want to argue with me, si quieres discutir conmigo, then you must be God. En, a lo mejor pues eres Dios. So why don't you put on all your glory? Entonces visite tu gloria. Put on your majesty. P ponte tu majestad. And why don't you tell the ocean what to do? Entonces dile qué hacer al océano. And do what you want to do. Y haz lo que quieras hacer. And, and I love that it keeps saying verse 13. Y amo que dice el eh, verso 13. Bury the proud in the dust. En tierra... Um, en el polvo. Imprison them in the world of the dead. Enciéndalos en el mundo de los muertos. And look at verse 14. Y mira el verso 14. Then, Entonces, even I would praise hasta you. Hasta yo te alojaría. 
God is telling Job. Dios está diciendo a Job. If you do all of this, si haces todo esto, then I would come and worship you. Entonces yo también te voy a adorar. I would praise you. Yo también te alojaría. For your own strength would save you. Porque tu propia fuerza te podría salvar. You know what Job says after that? Sabes lo que dice Job después de esto? Um, I take everything I said. I take everything I said back. Todo lo que dije para atrás. I mean, it's a conversation that lasts about two chapters. Esa es una conversación que va por dos capítulos. I just gave you highlights. Yo solo te di poquito. But, but if you question God, Pero si tú cuestionas a Dios, know, that, know, know that God can come tienes que saber que Dios puede venir and he can do whatever he wants to y Él puede hacer lo que Él quiera. And that's what he does with Job. Y eso es lo que Él hace con Job. He is the creator of the universe. Él es el creador del universo. The king of kings. El rey de reyes. The alpha and the omega. El alfa y el omega. God has no beginning. Dios no tiene principio. And God has no end. Y no tiene fin. It's hard to understand his nature sometimes. Es difícil entender su naturaleza. Because a lot of the questions that usually come up when you're growing up Porque muchas de las preguntas que tenemos al crecer is where did God come from? Es de donde vino Dios. You know, who created God? Y él no creó. And the truth is that God has no beginning. Y la verdad es que Dios no tiene principio. It's hard to understand him. Es difícil entenderlo. Because we try to understand him with our human mind. Porque queremos entenderlo con nuestra mente humana. Everything that you know. Todo lo que conoces. Has a beginning and an end. Tiene un principio y un fin. The clothes you're wearing has a beginning and it will have an end. La ropa que tiene tiene un principio y va a tener su final. You know that car that you bought. El carro que compraste. That you got in debt for. Que te pusiste en metiste en it had a beginning and it will have an end as well and so when we try to understand God we try to apply what we know here and apply it to him it's impossible I don't mean to offend you with this but it's almost like trying to explain what a computer is to a little ant it's impossible it's impossible It, 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 it's out of our reach es afuera de nuestro alcance to understand the creator of the universe. Entender el creador del universo. You know, the, the presence of God la presencia de Dios it, it's so majestic es tan majestuosa it, it's beyond our capacity. Es, es más de nuestra capacidad. In, in, the de, in the book of Exodus en el libro de Exodus in, in the desert en el desierto God meets the people of Israel Dios se encuentra con el pueblo de Israel on a mountain called Sinai. En la, una montaña que se llama Sinai. That mountain is still there today. Esa montaña aún está ahí. But the people of Israel are marching to the promised land. Pero el pueblo de Israel están marchando hacia la tierra prometida. And the presence of God comes y over the Mount Sinai. Y la presencia de Dios baja so, sobre el monte Sinai. Clouds surrounded the mountain. Una nube uh, uh, rodeó esa montaña. And there was thunder y hubo trueno. It, it, it was so loud Fue tan fuerte that the people of Israel que la, el pueblo de Israel they told Moses le dijeron a Moisés, we are not going near there no vamos a acercarnos. Moses you go and talk Moses, to him tú ve y hablar con él. we're going to stay here Nos vamos a quedar aquí. we're not going to go near that mountain no vamos a acercarnos a esa montaña. that's how powerful the presence Así of God tan was poderosa era la presencia de Dios. that when God spoke it was like thunder que cuando Dios hablaba era como And so the people said, you go, we, 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 we won't go. Mount Sinai is so important El Monte Sinai es tan in the history of Christianity en la historia, en la, en la historia del because it was on that mountain fue en esa montaña, where a relationship began. Donde una relación se comenzó. Eventually the people go near the mountain Eventualmente el pueblo se acerca a la montaña. and it was on that mountain where God gave Moses y fue en esa montaña, cuando Dios le dio, dio a Moisés los diez mandamientos I want to show you something that God said y te quiero enseñar algo que Dios dijo on that mountain en esa montaña because it will be related to Holy Communion porque se va a relacionar con el, la Santa Cena look at what God says mira lo que Dios dice in Exodus chapter 19 en Exodus 19 on Mount, on Mount Sinai en el monte Sinai It says, now if you will obey me, Ahora, si me obedecen, he's speaking to the people, y está a la gente, and keep my covenant, y mi pacto, you will be my own special, serán, everybody say with me, digan conmigo, treasure, 
Tesoro. Everybody together. Treasure. Digan conmigo, tesoro. That's an important word. Esa es una palabra importante. We're going to do a Bible exercise in a bit. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio bíblico. But God is telling them, if you will obey me, Pero Dios les dice, si me obedecen, you will be my own special treasure van a ser mi tesoro especial. from among all the peoples on earth. Um, ustedes serán mi tesoro especial entre todas las naciones. For all the earth belongs to me. Porque toda la tierra me pertenece. The creator of the universe. El creador del universo. The king of kings. El rey de reyes. The one who created everything we see. El, cre el que creó todo lo que vemos. Tells the people. Le dice a su pueblo. You will be my own special. Ustedes van a ser mi tesoro. Everybody together. Treasure. Tesoro. God is saying that. Dios está diciendo eso. Remember that word. Acuérdate de esa palabra. Let's travel hundreds and hundreds and hundreds Ahora of years vamos a viajar a miles de años entre, en el futuro. Jesus uses that same word. Jesús usa esa misma palabra. When he's teaching his disciples. Cuando le está enseñando a sus discípulos. Now here's the Bible exercise. Ahora este es el ejercicio. Find the common ground. Encuentra lo común. Between Exodus 19. Entre Éxodo 19. And Matthew 6. Y Mateo 6. You guys ready? Listos? God tells them, you will be my own special. Dios les ha dicho, ustedes serán mi tesoro especial. Matthew 6, 21. Mateo 6, 21. Jesus speaking says, Jesús dice, For where your treasure is, Porque donde está tu tesoro, There your heart will also be. Ahí estará también tu corazón. Some of you caught it already. I saw it. I saw it in some of your faces. Lo vi en sus caras. Jesus said, for where your treasure is, Jesús dice, pues, ¿donde está tu tesoro? there your heart will also Allí estará be. Tu corazón también. So God is standing at Mount Sinai. Entonces, Dios, parado en el monte Sinaí, you know what's interesting about Mount Sinai? ¿sabes qué es interesante de esta montaña? Is that there was a cloud on top. Que había una nube encima. In Jewish tradition, en la tradición judía, when, they would, when there was a marriage, cuando había un matrimonio, they would put a, wo a, a wood on top. Ponían una tabla arriba de ellos. Or, or, or a sort of cover on top. O algo que cubría arriba de ellos. It, that was to symbolize. Eso simbolizaba. The marriage that God had with his people in Mount Sinai. El matri el, la unión que Dios tenía con su gente en el monte Sinaí. The Ten Commandments. Los diez mandamientos. Are the vows. Son los votos. Did any of you guys write vows for your for your wedding? Ustedes escribieron you, votos para su or, or did you guys uh, use uh, AI to write to write it for you? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> the Ten Commandments Pero los diez mandamientos are God's vows to His people. Son los votos a su pueblo. Mount Sinai, El Monte Sinai essentially is a wedding. Esencialmente es una boda. Is God coming from the mountain? Es Dios bajando de la montaña, seeing His people viendo a su gente, and telling them y diciéndoles, if you obey me, si me obedece, you will be my special treasure. Van a ser mi tesoro especial. Years later, Años después, Jesus says, Jesús dice, where your treasure is, donde está tu tesoro, your heart will be there ahí also. Tu corazón también. In other words, en otras palabras, you have God's heart tienes el corazón de Dios in your hands. En tus manos. The most vulnerable thing anybody can do La cosa más vulnerable que podemos hacer is to give your heart to somebody else. Nuestro corazón a alguien más. For many of us, that is extremely difficult. Para muchos de nosotros, eso es tan difícil. Because so many times have we've given our hearts. Porque muchas veces, veces hemos dado nuestro corazón. And it's been broken. Y ha sido quebrantado. And it's been played with. Ha sido jugado. It's been rejected. Ha sido rechazado. So we'll take our heart back. Entonces agarramos nuestro corazón. And we'll say, I'm, I'm not going to give it again. Y decimos, nunca más lo voy a dar. The most vulnerable thing you can do. La cosa más vulnerable que puedes hacer. Is to trust somebody with your own heart es confiar a Dios con tu corazón. Es to give your heart out es dar tu corazón. but this is what God does Pero eso es lo que Dios hace. see we, we, we preach and we say 
Predicamos y decimos. Uh, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Acepta Jesús como tu Salvador. Would you like to give your heart to God today? Quisieras darle tu corazón a Dios. And that's beautiful. Y eso es hermoso. But we forget to realize. Pero se nos olvida. That on that moment, not only do you give your heart to God. En ese momento no solo le das tu corazón a Dios. But God gives you His heart. Pero as Dios well. te da su corazón también. He also gives it to you. Él se lo da a ti. And He says, "Have it." Y te dice. Hold it in your hands. You are my special treasure. That is what he's saying in Mount Sinai. So you mean to say that the king of the universe, the one that creates everything with his voice, the king of kings, the God of gods, the Alpha and the Omega, wants to give me his heart? That's what the Bible says. Eso es lo que dice la Biblia. He doesn't need to. No tiene que. But he is so madly in love with Pero you. Está locamente enamorado contigo. That he wants to hand you his heart. Que te quiere entregar su corazón. That's why the, the enemy knows he can't hurt God. El enemigo con, sabe que no puede dañar a Dios. But he knows. Pero él sabe. That if he hurts you. Que si te lastima a ti. It'll hurt God. Le va a lastimar a Dios. That's why the enemy attacks you. Por eso el enemigo te ataca. Because you are somebody's special treasure. Porque eres tesoro especial para alguien. Do you alguien. see that? Do you see that? You're not just anything. You're somebody's special treasure. You belong to God. The, the, the best way to piss off a parent is mess with your kids. You will have all the moms that are at the PTA meetings going, going off on you. I mean, you've seen those parents, right? That they are involved in school. Why? Because they care about what are you doing with my children. The same thing happens with God. If they mess with you, they mess with God if they reject you they reject God if they hurt you they hurt God the same thing because he gave you his heart and you gave him his, your heart and on Mount Sinai they made their vows they got married and Jesus came and said wherever your treasure is your heart is there also is this making sense? I promise you we're going to get to Holy Communion. Te prometo vas okay. a llegar a la Santa Cena. But you need to understand this first. Pero tienes que entender esto. That the Creator Himself que el Creador mismo wants to give you His heart. Quiere darte su corazón. You hold it in your hands. Lo tienes en tu mano. Let me show you how much He loves you. Déjame te enseño cuánto te ama. Look at what Matthew 10, 30 Mira que dice Mateo 10, 30. says, and the very hairs on your head en cuanto a ustedes, cada cabello de su cabeza are all numbered. Está contado. I love my wife. Amo a mi esposa. And I love the way she does her hair. Y me encanta como se peina. But I will not count every hair Pero on her yo head. No voy a contar cada cabello en su pelo. Uh, I'm just not. Perdón, cabello en su cabeza. There we go. <laughs> pelo en su cabeza. There you go. <laughs> But the Bible says Pero la Biblia dice that every hair on your head que cada pelo en tu cabeza is numbered. Está contado. Tell me if God loves you or not. Dime si Dios te ama o no. The fact that He knows how many hairs you have on El your head. Hecho que conoce cantos cabellos tienes en, en tu cabeza. I, I mean, God is so romantic. Dios es tan romántico. Look, look at what John 14 says. Y mira lo que Juan 14 dice. Verse 2. Verso 2. There is more than enough room in my father's home. En el hogar de mi padre hay lugar más que suficiente. This is Jesus talking. Este es Dios hablando. If this were not so, si no fuera así, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place? ¿Acaso for you? les habría dicho que voy a preparar un lugar? Look at verse 3. Verso 3. 
When everything is ready, Cuando todo esté listo, I will come and get you volveré para llevarlos, so that you will always be with me para que siempre estén conmigo, where I am. Donde yo estoy. He was telling the disciples, Le estaba diciendo a los discípulos, I'm going to go prepare a house for you. Voy a preparar una casa para ti. I'm going to go prepare a place for Voy a preparar un lugar para you. And when it's the time, y cuando sea tiempo, when it's ready, cuando esté listo, I'm going to come back for Voy you. A regresar por ustedes. Because I want you to come and live with me. Porque quiero que vengan y vivan conmigo. I mean, that's, that's the ideal man for any girl. Ese es el hombre ideal para cualquier You're going to build me a house? Mujer. Me van a I, una casa? I mean, you only see that in the notebook. Solo you know? en las Build me a house with your own hands. Una casa con tus manos. You know how many hairs I have on my head? ¿Sabes pelos tengo en mi I'm going to be your special treasure. Voy a ser tu You're going to give me your heart. Me vas a dar tu This is the creator of the universe. Y este es el creador del universo. This is the king of kings. Este es el rey de reyes. The God of gods. El Dios de Dioses. The Alpha and the Omega. El Alpha y el Omega. Being at his most vulnerable state. En su estado más vulnerable. And saying, I want to give you my heart. Diciendo, te, te quiero dar mi corazón. I want to spend eternity with you. Quiero pasar la eternidad contigo. I want to build a house for you. Quiero construir una casa para ti. I want ti. you to be my special treasure. Quiero que seas mi tesoro especial. I want you. Yo te quiero a ti. I want to have your attention. Quiero tu atención. That is what God is saying. Eso es lo que está diciendo Dios. You guys remember in school? ¿Se acuerdan en la escuela? Back in the day. En los días de antes. Um, when there weren't any cell phones. Cuando no había celulares. Remember when somebody had a crush on somebody? Cuando alguien le gustaba a alguien. They would write on a little paper. Agarraban un papelito y escribían. Uh, do you like me? ¿Te gusto? And then they would put yes or no. Sí o no. Circle one. Circula. Circula sí. <laughs> please circle yes. I mean, and you were just hoping that, that the yes would be circled, Esperanzado right? Esperanzado que circularan el sí. But it was a note that was sent. Pero era una, una carta que se mandaba. Hoping they would, they would just like you back. Esperanzado que también te, les gustaras. That's what the Bible is. Eso es lo que es la Biblia. That's what God is doing with this book. Eso es lo que Dios está haciendo con la Biblia. Sending you a letter of love. Mandándote una carta de amor. Hoping. Esperando. Hoping. Esperando. That you would also give him his heart. Que tú también le des tu corazón. Because he's already given it to you. Porque él ya te ha dado el de él. That's what God is doing. Eso es lo que Dios está haciendo. Just trying to get your attention. Tratando de agarrar tu, tu atención. Trying to show you what love truly y is. Y demostrarte qué es el verdadero amor. The Bible. La Biblia. Is a love letter. Es una carta de amor. God's pursuit for your heart. El, la, el, persig, el perseguimiento de Dios hacia ti. His relentless pursuit. Él no deja de perseguirte to love you and protect you. porque quiere amar y protegerte. There's a verse in the Bible Hay un verso en la Biblia where he describes you donde él te, te describe as the pupil of his eye. como el, la, the, mans, la, niña. la niña de sus ojos. The pupil of your eye. Como la niña de sus ojos. You know how much we protect the pupil? ¿Sabes cuánto protegemos nuestro ojo? I mean, we close our eyes quickly Cerramos el ojo rápido to protect it. Para protegerlo. God compares you Dios se compara like you are my pupil. Como que eres el, la, el la, niña, niña, la niña. La niña. You, you are my treasure. Eres mi tesoro. So when we get to Holy Communion, Entonces, cuando llegamos al tema de la Santa Cena, We have this God Tenemos a un Dios that's madly in love with you. Que está locamente enamorada contigo. Holy Communion La Santa Cena is a dinner date. Es una una cena that God has prepared for you. Que Dios ha preparado para ti. I hope you somebody has taken you on dinner Espero on a date for dinner. Espero que alguna at, vez at alguien point. te haya llevado una cena como cita. I remember when I first met Sandy. Me acuerdo que cuando conocí a Sandy. I slid into her DMs. Le mandé un mensaje. <laughs> Not ashamed to say it. No I did. Vergüenza, lo hice. She was our pastor's assistant at the time. Era el de los pastores and, en ese tiempo. and so she was always running around in church. Entonces, siempre andaba por la iglesia. And I could never get a hold of her. Y no podía pararla. So I found her on Instagram. Entonces, la busqué en Instagram. And I sent her a message. Y le mandé un mensaje. And we started talking. Y empezamos a hablar. 
And, and three years later, we're married. Y tres años después, nos casamos. But the, the week that I sent her a message, Pero la semana que le mandé un mensaje, I was straight up with her. Fui directo. I said, I think you're beautiful. Pienso que eres hermosa. I would love to take you out to dinner. Quiero sacarte a cenar. Two days later, we went out Dos to dinner. Días después, fuimos a cenar. And I took her to the fanciest restaurant y in LA. La llevé al restaurante más elegante. Don't judge me. No me juzguen. I took her to the Cheesecake Factory. La llevé al Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> It was my favorite restaurant, so I said, you want to get to know me? Get to know me. Era su, es su restaurante favorito. I love the Cuban sandwich at the Le Cheesecake Factory. Le encanta el sandwich cubano. <laughs> I said, hey, this is who I am. Dijo, es, es, es quien yo soy. You marry me, we'll be coming back to the Cheesecake Factory <laughs> for <laughs> years. <laughs> But I remember that first uh, dinner date. Pero me acuerdo de esta cena primera. We sat down on the table. Nos sentamos en la mesa. Across from each other. Al cruzar de cada uno. The first thing she ordered was dessert. Lo primero que ella pidió fue postre. So I was like, I can work with this girl. I love that. Puedo trabajar con ella. Me encanta esto. And, and we just started conversing. Y empezamos a tener conversaciones. And that conversation, I remember that conversation. Y me acuerdo de esa conversación. Because it was just a lot of, you know, getting to know each other. Porque era conociéndonos unos al otro. It was a lot of questions. Muchas preguntas. You know, so how were you raised? Y cómo fuiste creada? Where did you go to school? A dónde fuiste a la escuela? What are some of your interests? ¿Cuáles son tus intereses? And we just started connecting. Y empezamos a conectarnos. It wasn't even about the dinner. No se trataba de la cena. It was about the connection. Era de la conexión. That's why sex is not the most intimate thing. Por eso es que el sexo no es lo más íntimo. Sex can be very empty. El sexo puede ser bien vacío. If there's no genuine connection. Si no hay una conexión genuina. See, because when we talk. Porque cuando hablamos. She's bringing out her heart. Él es, ella está abriendo su corazón. And telling me what her heart has. Y diciéndole qué hay en su corazón. As I respond. Y cuando yo respondo. I'm letting her know what's in my heart. Yo le estoy diciendo qué hay en mi corazón. The more we conversate. Y, y cuando tenemos más conversaciones. Our hearts get closer. Nuestros corazones aún se conocen. Conectan más. There's a genuine connection Hay una conexión genuina that only happens through genuine conversation. Que solo ocurre cuando hay conversaciones genuinas. And so Holy Communion Entonces, la Santa Cena is the breaking of the bread, es partir el pan, the pouring of the cup, el derramar la copa, and it's you going on a date with God. Y es tú saliendo a una cena con It Dios. is Him preparing a dinner date for you. Es él preparando una cena para ti. To connect with you. Para conectarse contigo. To, to conversate para with you. Para tener una conversación contigo. So that you can get to know each other. Para que se puedan conocer. You know, I, I married Sandy. Me casé con Sandy. I conquered her. La conquisté. But she will remind me. Pero ella me recuerda. Babe, you have to keep pursuing me. Tú tienes que seguir persiguiéndome. And she's right. Y tiene razón. I have to keep pursuing Tengo her. Tengo que seguir persiguiéndola. I have to keep going after her. Tengo que seguir siguiendo a ella. In our relationship with God. En una relación con Dios. It is a consistent pursuit. Es una, una, un persigo consistente. But I promise you, the more you get to know God. Pero te lo prometo que en entre más conozcas a Dios, the more you will fall in love with God. Más te vas a enamorar de él. The more you will know him. Más lo vas a conocer. The more you will enjoy him. Más lo vas a disfrutar. And so a day before crucifixion. Entonces el día antes de la crucifixión. Jesus tells his disciples. Jesús le dice a sus discípulos. Get the house ready. Prepara la casa. We're, we're, we're going to have a dinner. Vamos a cenar. We're going to have Uh, we're going to break bread together. Vamos a comer juntos. And, and we're going to share a time together. Y vamos a come, uh, pa pasar tiempo juntos. And I want to show you what Matthew 26. Y quiero leerte lo que Mateos 26. 26 says. Dice. As they were eating. eating mientras comían. Jesus took some bread. Jesús tomó un poco de pan. And blessed it. Y lo bendijo. We're about to do this today together. Y lo vamos a hacer hoy. Then he broke it in pieces. Luego lo partió en trozos. What did he do? ¿Qué hizo? He broke it in pieces. Lo partió en trozos. And gave it to the disciples saying. Y dio a sus discípulos diciendo. Take this. Tómenlo. And eat it. Y cómanlo. For this is my body. Porque esto es mi cuerpo. And he took a cup of wine. Y, tam y tomó en sus manos una copa de vino. And gave thanks to God for it. Y dio gracias a Dios por ello. He gave it to them. 
se la dio a ellos and said, y dijo, Each of you, cada uno, drink from it. de ustedes beban. This is one of the most intimate scenes that we have in the Bible. Este, uh, esta, esta foto es una de las más íntimas que vemos en la Biblia. 24 hours before the cross. 24 horas antes de la cruz. Jesus went into a home. Jesús entró a un hogar. He sat with his disciples. Se sentó con los discípulos. And they had this last, this thing called last supper. Y tuvieron lo que llamamos la Santa Cena o la última cena. It was all based on human connection. Fue basado en una conexión humana. Very human. Muy humana. It is only through through that intimate moment es solo en este momento íntimo, that you really get to know somebody. Donde puedes realmente conocer a alguien. Whether you see there's value in that relationship or there isn't value ya in sea that que veas valor en la relación o no. Look at what Hosea 6.6 6 says. Y mira lo que Hosea 6, 6 dice. God tells this to his people. Dios le dice esto a su pueblo. God is heartbroken when he's saying this. Dios está quebrantado cuando está diciendo esto. Hosea 6.6 6. Hosea 6.6 6. I want you to show love, says God. Quiero que demuestren amor, dice Dios. Not offer sacrifices. No ofrezcan sacrificios. I'm going to let that sink in. I want you to show love. Quiero que demuestren amor. Not offer sacrifices. No que ofrezcan sacrificios. I want you to know me more más que ofrendas quemadas than I want burnt offering. Quiero que me conozcan. A lot of the times we think that God wants the offerings from us. Muchas veces queremos que Dios solamente quiere ofrendas de nosotros. That we nosotros. want sacrifice. O sacrificios. And your to-do list. Y una lista de qué hacer. For church. Para la iglesia. All of that is empty. Todo eso es vacío. If you don't have a genuine relationship with si God no himself. Si no tienes una relación genuina con Dios. It's almost like, you know the father that's a provider. Es como el padre que es un proveedor. But it's emotionally unavailable Pero emocionalmente no está disponible. the son the children may grow up having everything Los hijos pueden crecer teniendo todo. but they will always feel like we're, I'm missing something from that that's what this is Eso es lo que está pasando aquí. that's who we are to God sometimes Eso es lo que somos para Dios a veces. I, I'm doing everything Estoy haciendo todo. I'm giving everything Estoy dando todo. and God is telling you Pero Dios está diciendo, I don't want your offerings anymore no quiero solo ofrendas. I want your heart quiero tu corazón. I want you Te quiero a ti. I want your attention quiero tu atención. what good is it to me, ¿De qué me sirve? to receive everything but not have De you todo lo que haces, pero no tenerte a ti. that is what God is saying Eso es lo que Dios está diciendo. that's why coming to Holy Communion Por eso es que venir a la Santa Cena, going to that dinner date yendo a esta cena, is you sitting down and, and connecting es sentándote tú y conectándote. is you sitting down and, 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 and receiving having a, a genuine connection es tú sentándote y tener una conexión genuina. does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? You find a God throughout the Bible Encuentras a un Dios en toda la Biblia, who's madly in love with you que locamente está enamorado de and ti, just wants your attention y quiere tu atención, wants to, to tell you hey you're, you're, you're my special treasure que quiere decir, Eres mi tesoro especial. I just hope that I'm also your special Pero treasure espero que yo también sea tu tesoro especial. hey I, I want to give you my heart Te quiero dar mi corazón. can you give me your heart ¿Me das el tuyo? I'm, I'm building a house. Estoy construyendo una casa. See, and, and this still surprises me. Y aún esto me sorprende. That the creator of the universe. Que el creador del universo. The all-powerful God. El todopoderoso. Majestic God. El majestuoso Dios. Pursues me. Aún me persigue. A sinner. Yo pecador. Somebody who has been unfaithful. Alguien que ha sido infiel. Yes. Sí. He still pursues you Aún te persigue because he is madly in love with está you. Locamente enamorado de ti. He, all he wants is your attention. Lo único que quiere es tu atención. And so Jesus takes his disciples Entonces Jesús agarra a sus discípulos and he, he says, we're going to sit y dice, nos vamos a sentar. Because I want to have dinner with you. Porque quiero tener cena con ustedes. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to date with you. Quiero ir a una cita con ustedes. I want to spend time with you. Quiero pasar tiempo con ustedes. Let's get to know each Hay other. Hay que conocernos uno al otro. And as they break bread. 
Y cuando comparten el pan, Jesus knew what was about to happen the next morning. Jesús sabía lo que iba a pasar en la, uh, el siguiente día. They were going to chain him up. Lo iban a encadenar. They were going to take him to the courts. Lo iban a llevar a las cortes. You know, Jesus got whipped 39 times. A Jesús se le dio 39 latigazos. He was tortured. Fue torturado. He was spat at. Le escupieron. And, and I know the movies don't show it. Y yo sé que las películas no lo enseñan. But Jesus was naked. Pero Jesús estaba desnudo. Completely naked. Completamente. In front of the community where he was born. En frente de la comunidad donde él se creció. Shamed. Él fue avergonzado. They made him walk. Lo hicieron caminar. And hit him as he walked. Y le pegaban mientras él caminaba. While he carried the cross. Mientras cargaba la cruz. Jesus knows this is about to happen when he's having this dinner. Jesús Tú sabes que esto va a pasar mientras estás cenando con sus discípulos. And I want to show you the cross. Y te quiero enseñar la cruz. From the perspective of prophet Isaiah. De la perspectiva del profeta Isaías. Written almost 600 before the cross. Escrito casi 600 años antes de la cruz. Isaiah receives revelation of how the cross was going to be. Isaías recibió una revelación de cómo iba a ser la cruz. And I just want to read it to you. Y te lo quiero leer. But he was pierced for our rebellion. Pero él fue traspasado por nuestras rebeliones. Crushed for our sins. Y aplastado por nuestros pecados. He was beaten. Fue golpeado. So we could be whole. Para que nosotros estuviéramos en paz. He was whipped. Fue azotado. So we could be healed. Para que pudiéramos ser sanados. All of us. Todos nosotros, like sheep have strayed away. Nos hemos extravado, extravados como ovejas. We have left God's paths. Hemos dejado los caminos de Dios. To follow our own. Para seguir los nuestros. Yet the Lord laid on him. Sin embargo, el Señor puso sobre él. The sins of all of us all. Los pecados de todos nosotros. He was oppressed. Fue oprimido. And treated harshly. Y tratado con crueldad. Yet he never said. A word. Sin embargo, no dijo nada. Jesus never said a word. Jesús nunca dijo una palabra. They took him to the cross. Lo llevaron a la cruz. They cursed him. They mocked him. Le hicieron burla. They shamed him. Le, uh, lo avergonzaron. Yet he walked quietly. Y aún caminó silenciosamente. He did not open his mouth. No abrió su boca. Verse 8. Verso 8. Unjust, unjustly condemned. Al ser condenado injustamente. He was led away. Se lo llevaron. No one cared. A nadie le importó. That he died without descendants. Que muriera sin descendientes. That his life was cut short in midstream. Ni le quitaran la vida mitad de camino. But he was struck down for the rebellion. Pero lo hirieron de muerte por la rebeldía de mi pueblo. The whole chapter. En todo el capítulo. I just read you three, four verses. Solo te leí cuatro versos. All of chapter 53. Pero todo el capítulo 53. Is an image of Jesus. Es una imagen de Jesús. Walking to the cross. Caminando hacia la cruz. And the prophet wrote it 600 years before it happened. Y el profeta lo escribió 600 años antes que ocurriera. But 600 years after the prophet put teen to that paper. Pero después de 600. 600 años. Jesus lived that prophecy out. Jesús vivió esa profecía. That's why the night before. Por eso es que la noche antes. When Jesus sat down at the table. Cuando Jesús se sentó en la mesa. He took the bread. Él tomó el pan. And he told his disciples. Y le dijo a sus discípulos. This. Esto. Is my body. Es mi cuerpo. This is my body. Ese es mi cuerpo. I share it with you. Lo comparto contigo. I give it to you. Te lo doy a ti. And look at what the Bible says. Y mira lo que dice la Biblia. The Bible says that when Jesus took the bread, la Biblia dice que cuando Jesús tomó el pan, he broke it. Lo partió into pieces. En pedazos. He knew what was going to happen to his body the next day. Él sabía lo que le iba a pasar al cuerpo la noche anterior. The next day he knew that his body el siguiente día él sabía que su cuerpo was going to be broken iba a ser quebrantado into pieces en pedazos for you por ti 
Because all of his time he's just been trying to pursue you. Porque todo ese tiempo solo has tratado de perseguirte a ti. And so he tells his disciples. Y le dice a sus discípulos. Here's my body. Ese es mi cuerpo. Take it. Tómalo. It's for you. Es para ti. Eat from it. Come de ello. It belongs to you. Te pertenece a ti. You have the image of a God that is madly in love Tienes pursuing. Tienes una imagen de Dios que está locamente persiguiéndote. When we eat the bread, cuando comemos el pan, we crush it with our teeth. Lo masticamos con nuestros dientes. That's what happened to his body. As, eso es lo que le pasó al cuerpo. He was crushed. Él fue um, quebrantado. By the sins. Por el pecado. By the pain. Por el dolor. By the burden. Por la carga. Of all of our faults. De todas nuestras pecados. He takes the cup. Él toma la copa. And he says, "This is my blood." Y dice, Esa es mi sangre. His blood was going to be shed. Su sangre iba a ser derramada. His, his blood ran through the cross. Su sangre corrió, va, se derramó sobre la cruz. His blood ran through the floor as he walked and took the cross. La sangre corría por la por el piso mientras él caminaba. All to say. Todo para decir. I love you. Te amo. I want you to spend eternity with me. Que pases and I will go to this extent y voy a ir hasta este to break my body into pieces para mi en so that I can spend eternity with you para poder pasar la because contigo. I just want your attention tu because you're my special treasure eres mi because I want to give you my heart because I want to be with you I've been trying to get your attention that's the God we serve and so when we take Holy Communion here it's a big deal it's something that has so much meaning the King of the Universe being at his most vulnerable state en su estado más vulnerable, giving his heart away dando su corazón, being broken into pieces siendo quebrantado en pedazos, just to love us simplemente para amarnos, just to spend time with us simplemente para pasar tiempo con nosotros. Holy Communion does three things La Santa Cena hace tres cosas. When we take it, Cuando la tomamos, first it reminds us of what Jesus did for us. Primero nos recuerda del sacrificio que Jesús hizo por nosotros. Second, it opens up a space in the present. Segundo, abre un espacio en el presente. So that we can restore our relationship with God. Para restaurar nuestra relación con Cristo. And third, y tercero, it reminds us that in the future, nos recuerda que en el futuro, we will participate of this vamos a participar de esto, with Jesus in heaven. Con Jesús en el cielo. Look at what Matthew 26, 28 Mira says. Que dice Mateo 26, 29. After they had the last supper, Después que tuvieron la última cena, Jesus says this, Jesús dice esto, Mark my words. Marca mis palabras. I will not drink wine again. No volveré a beber vino. Until the day I drink it new. Hasta el día en que lo beba nuevo. With who? Con quién? With you. Con ustedes. Jesus is saying, this is the last time. Dice, esa es la última vez. Jesus knew. Dios, Jesús sabía. Tomorrow I go to the cross. Mañana voy a la cruz. And once that is over, y cuando eso fue, se ha cumplido, till this day, hasta ese día, Jesus hasn't drank of this. Jesús no ha tomado de esto. He's waiting for us to get to heaven Nos está esperando llegar al cielo, so that together para que juntos, we can all have holy communion. Podamos tomar la Santa Cena. And that day will come. Y ese día va a llegar, that dinner date will come ese cena va a llegar, where we will sit at the table of the King and we will break bread y vamos a compartir pan. and we will participate of this y participar de esto together juntos. until the day I drink it new with you Hasta el día que lo beba nuevo con ustedes. in my Father's kingdom en el reino de mi padre. that's what Holy Communion does Eso es lo que hace la Santa Cena. it reminds us of the hope we have as Christians Nos recuerda de la esperanza que tenemos como cristianos. that we're waiting for that day que estamos esperando ese día that day will come. 
gives us, it reminds us of the past. Nos recuerda del pasado. It affects our present. Afecta nuestro presente. And it reminds us of the future. Y nos recuerda del futuro. Why don't we stand to our feet today? ¿Por qué no nos ponemos de pie? If you don't have the cup, you can just raise your hand and people. Si no tienes un vaso, puedes levantar tu mano y alguien te va a dar uno. We're going to participate of Holy Communion. Vamos a participar de la Santa Cena. According to the Bible. A, uh, en la Biblia. The only requirement for you to participate of Holy Communion. Lo único que necesitas para participar de la Santa Cena. Is to have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Es haber aceptado a Jesús como tu Salvador. I know that traditionally Yo sé que a lot of churches teach that you need to be baptized que que ser to participate of this para de ello. but you won't find that anywhere on the Bible Pero eso no lo vas a en la you won't find it in the Bible no lo vas a en la the only requirement we see in the Bible El único que vemos en la is to have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior es haber a Jesús como tu Salvador. This is your dinner date with God. Esta es tu cena con it's, Dios. it's Him telling you, I'm going to pick you up at 7. Be ready. Es él diciendo, Te está listo a las it's Him telling you, I just want to spend time with you. Es él diciendo, Te quiero pasar tiempo contigo. I just want your attention. Quiero tu atención. I just want to get to know you. Quiero conocerte. I want you to get to know me. Quiero que me conozcas. I want to tell you that you're my special treasure. Te quiero decir que eres mi tesoro especial. I want to tell you that I want to protect you. Y decirte que te quiero proteger. That I want to love you like nobody's ever loved you. Que te quiero amar como no, nadie más ha amado. I just want to be with you. Y quiero estar contigo. That's what Holy Communion is. Eso es lo que es la Santa Cena. And so why don't we take it together? ¿Y por qué no participamos juntos? Matthew 26. Mateos 26. As they were eating, Mientras comían, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Jesús tomó pan y lo bendijo. Then he broke it in pieces Luego lo partió en trozos, and gave it to the disciples saying, y se lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Take this Tómenlo and eat it y cómanlo, for this is my body. Porque este es mi cuerpo. You may take the bread. Puedes participar del pan. And he took a cup of wine y tomó un copa de vino. And he gave thanks to God for it. Y le dio a Dios por ello. He gave it to them and said, Se lo dio y dijo, Each of you, cada uno de ustedes, drink from it. Beba de la copa, for this is my blood, esto es mi sangre, which confirms the covenant la cual confirma el pacto, between God and his people. Entre Dios y su pueblo. It is poured out as a sacrifice es derramado como un sacrificio, to forgive the sins of many. Para perdonar los pecados de mucho. Let's take of the cup. Participa de la sangre, de la copa. And verse 29 says, my, Mark my words. Marca mis palabras. I will not drink wine again until the day I drink anew with you. No volveré a beber vino hasta el día in my Father's kingdom. En que lo vuelva nuevo con ustedes en el reino de mi Padre. You know, Jesus is here today. Jesús es aquí. He's in this place. Él está en este lugar. I don't know how you came. Yo no sé cómo viniste, but he knows how you came. Pero él sabe cómo tú viniste. And he just wants to hug you today. Y él quiere darte un abrazo. He wants to embrace you. Te quiere abrazar.